And now to that decision by the Supreme Court overturning New York State's guidelines on concealed guns in public. In a 135-page ruling, the high court struck down the century-old law, claiming it violates constitutional rights. The court was split down ideological lines, the six conservative-leaning justices voting to overturn the law, the three liberal-leaning members voting to uphold it. CBS 2's Ali Bauman here now with more on how the court came to this ruling and reaction tonight. Ali. Maurice and Christine, gun rights activists fought for eight years to overturn this New York law, which required gun owners show proper cause in order to carry a firearm outside their home. Today, the Supreme Court ruled that law went too far, but New York City and state officials are already combing through the SCOTUS decision, searching for ways to limit its scope. We are enraged. We are disgusted. Anti-gun activists rally in Union Square Thursday night, while some gun proponents are celebrating. The lawful and legal gun owner of New York State is no longer going to be persecuted by laws that uh, have nothing to do with the safety of the people. Thursday, the Supreme Court struck down a New York law requiring a person show a special need in order to legally carry a gun in public. In the 6-3 majority opinion, Justice Clarence Thomas wrote, the 2nd and 14th Amendments protect an individual's right to carry a handgun for self-defense outside the home. We're already dealing with a major gun violence crisis. We don't need to add more fuel to this fire. The decision could impact similar carry restrictions in a handful of states, including New Jersey. Mere hours after the SCOTUS ruling, Caleb Ostalaza went to his local Jersey City gun store to trade in his handgun for something more discreet. When it does happen, I want to have something that's comfortable because that's not really a carry gun. New York City officials are warning its residents against doing the same because the old rules are still in effect for now. If you have a premise permit, it does not automatically convert to a carry permit. If you carry a gun illegally in New York City, you will be arrested. Nothing changes today. City and state officials are now mobilizing legal teams to review New York's application process for obtaining a carry license. We will not allow our city to live in fear that everyone around us is armed and that any altercation could evolve into a shootout. State lawmakers are also focusing on language in the majority opinion, which allows them to ban people from carrying guns in so-called sensitive places, such as public transit and the theater district. We do not need people entering our subways, our restaurants, our movie theaters with concealed weapons. Justice Thomas warns in the majority opinion there is a limit to these sensitive places. For example, lawmakers cannot declare the whole island of Manhattan a sensitive place just because it's crowded. Governor Hochul says she's prepared to call the state legislature back into session. Maurice. Okay, Ali, thank you and stay with CBS2 and CBS News New York for continuing coverage of today's Supreme Court decision. You can see the court's ruling at CBSNewYork.com.